In leaving their coordinate geometry three, we're going to look at the perpendicular distance from a point to a line. So this comes up in coordinate geometry, geometry in a circle, and can come up in some algebra questions too. So the basic formula is the perpendicular distance d is equal to ax1 plus by1 plus c over the square root of a squared plus b squared. Now this is when the equation of a line is written in the form ax plus by plus c equals zero and the coefficient of x is equal to a, the coefficient of y is equal to b, and c is my constant at the end. So let's look at one easy question, or we'll, I'll do one easy one, then I'll get you to test yourselves with one, and then we'll look at how, how difficult these questions can get. So the first question, find the distance, and when they say the distance, they mean the shortest distance, which is the perpendicular distance, from the point 3 minus 1 to the line 6x plus 8y minus 31 equals naught. Now we have five variables going into the formula. I think it's good maths to write them down just to try and eliminate error. So A, B, and C. 6, 8, minus 31. X, 1, and Y, 1. You can call it X and Y, but the formula has X, 1, and Y, 1 in it. We're going to leave it at that. 3 and minus 1. You can see these absolute value bars again. We can get a minus in here. So we're looking at the absolute value of AX1, 6 by 3, plus 8 by minus 1, minus 31, all over the square root of 6 squared plus 8 squared, 8 A squared plus B squared. So we're going to get on top. 18 minus 8 minus 31 all over the square root of 36 plus 64 which is the square root of 100 so we're going to get minus 39 plus 18 minus 21 over 10 and this is absolute value so you can see we have a minus in here so this works out to be 2.1 units so we take the positive value if it's a negative because we're dealing with distance and we can't have a negative distance. So you guys try the next one. So pause the video and test yourself on this one. You're asked to find in third form the perpendicular distance from minus one one to x minus two y is equal to two. Okay, so you should identify that you need to bring the two across. If we write down our a, our b, our c, our x and our y, or our x one and y one, We have a 1 in front of the x, a minus 2, and a minus 2, and we have a minus 1 and a 1. Always write your formula down if you are inputting into formula, square root of the square root of the bottom absolute value of ax1 plus by1 plus c over the square root of a squared plus b squared. So, filling this information in, we get the absolute value of 1, the A goes with the X1, and the B goes with the Y1, if you want to line them up like that, 1 by minus 1, plus minus 2 by 1, minus 2, all over the square root of A squared plus B squared, which is 1 squared. Now, I just put in, rather than putting in a minus here, I could just put in the 2 because the square number is going to be positive. So the absolute value of minus 1, minus 2, minus 2 over the square root of 5 is equal to 5 minus 5 of 5 over the square root of 5. Now in third form, we normally want a third on top. So if we multiply 5 over root 5, you should know that 5 divided by root 5 is root 5. But if we multiply it, top and bottom by root 5 over root 5 we get 5 root 5 on top we get 5 on the bottom so our answer is just root 5 when we get a question like this find the equation of two lines that are parallel to the line x minus 2y equals 5 and the distance 3 root 5 from it there's a little bit more work involved so starting point is to write the equation of two lines that are parallel to this line x minus 2y minus 5 equals naught 
So any lines parallel will have the same slopes. So the x and y coordinates will have to be the same. So x minus 2y plus c equals naught is the equation of any line parallel to x minus 2y minus 5. So we just do a quick sketch of this line here. What's the slope of this line? Well, if we write in the form y equals mx plus c, we'll be able to see the slope here in front of x. So 2y is equal to x minus 5. y is equal to x over 2 minus 5 over 2. So we have a slope of 1 over 2. So it's a positive slope. If we get a, we, we are going to need to get a point on this line because that's what we were looking at previously. So if x is equal to... Well, if y is equal to 0 here, I might be used to use the y. If y is equal to 0, x is equal to 5. So that's a point on the line that we're looking for. So the distance away from this point is my tree root 5. So let's just sketch this. So I have the point 5, 0, slope of a half. So that means that would have to go down to 2.5. So 5, 2.5. So that's a sketch of the line. So the lines we're looking for are a distance of three root five away. So we don't need to be accurate with this. We just need to just do a little sketch just to help us. So I have two lines now that both have the equation x plus 2y plus c equals naught. Now c could be a minus. So these are the lines I'm looking for. And I have a point now on this line. I have another point down here. And I'm going to use this point to say what's that distance is 3 root 5 and so is this distance here 3 root 5 so let's apply that to our perpendicular distance formula the only unknown that we have is this c that we're going to be looking for so I'm going to write my formula again ax1 plus by1 plus c over the square root of a squared plus b squared a is equal to b is equal to c is equal to x1 is equal to and y1 is equal to now the x and y are my five zero the a b c are my one x my two y and my c so one two c so filling this into the formula i'm going to get one the absolute value of one times five plus two times zero plus c all over the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared and that's equal to the distance away which is this 3 root 5 so we know this can be a positive 3 root 5 or it can be a negative 3 root 5 or inside here it can be positive or negative but it's easier to let this guy on the right hand side here be positive and negative so what do we end up with on top we get 5 plus c and on the bottom, the square root of 5 is equal to 3 root 5. So we're going to get the absolute value of 5 plus c is equal to 3 by root 5 by root 5 is 3 by 5, which is 15. Now, in the previous video, you saw that it was easiest to allow 5 plus c equal 15 and 5 plus c equal minus 15. So c is equal to 15 minus 5, which is 10 or c is equal to minus 15 minus 5, which is minus 20. So the equation of our line becomes x plus 2y. We got plus 10 and a minus 20, plus 10 equals naught, and x plus 2y minus 20 equals naught. Now, I'll just do the squared version of this as well. If we square both sides here, sometimes we may need to. So let's have a look at that. So we're going to square both sides. So... 5 plus c squared is equal to 15 squared. 25 plus 10c plus c squared is equal to 2, 2, 5. So c squared plus 10c minus 200 equals to 0. So I'm going to get c times c. It has to be 20 times 10 here. 20 times 10. I want a plus 10, so plus 20 minus 10. So c is equal to 10 or minus 20. So you can see we're going to get the same answers as we did over here. So that's a little trickier type of perpendicular distance question. So we'll go on and look at another one. Um, that's a little bit tricky too. So test yourself on this too. 
So pause the video and attempt this question. A sketch may help or it may not be necessary here, whatever you think is best. Find the equation of two lines that pass through the point 3, 2 and that are, and are at a distance of root 5 from the point minus 2, minus 3. Okay, well the equations of two lines that pass through this point, what do we not have? We have a point, but we have no slope. So similar to the last question where we had no C, this question is just dealing with no slope. So we're going to have an equation in M to get two values for M. So Y minus Y1 is equal to M times X minus X1 is the equation of any line. We have our point, so Y minus 2 is equal to M times X minus 3. Y minus 2 is equal to MX minus 3M. And if I bring everything together in the form AX plus BY plus C equals naught, I'll get my A, B, and C values. One of them will be in terms of M here, or two of them will be in terms of M. So we have MX minus Y minus 3M plus 2 is equal to naught. So I have an M in my X, and my constant here, this C value, is minus 3M plus 2. So if we write down, we and we have the perpendicular distance is root 5 from this point to this line, or what will be two lines when we get two values for m. So my a is equal to m, the co coefficient of x. My b is equal to minus 1, which you can see here is my coefficient of y. My C is equal to minus 3M plus 2. My X and my Y values are from the line to the point. So my X is minus 2 and my Y is minus 3. So again, write your formula AX1 plus BY1 plus C. Or the square root of A squared plus B squared. And we fill our information in. We're going to get a which is m times x which is minus 2 this one here plus b which is minus 1 times y which is minus 3 plus c which is minus 3m plus 2 all over the square root of a squared which is m squared plus b squared which is 1 squared so m squared plus 1 or minus 1 squared to get plus 1 and that's equal to how, long, how far away was it this root 5 up here and you can see we have our m squared in the equation so that's how we're going to get two values for m we're going to form a quadratic and we get our two values for m so what have we got we have minus 2m plus 3 a minus by a minus minus 3m plus 2 over now I could multiply the square root of m squared plus 1 and cross multiply at the same time here otherwise I'm just writing the stage out twice so the square root of m squared plus 1 by the square root of 5 and we're going to square both sides in a minute so I don't need this fraction now so I'm going to get minus 5m plus 5 is equal to the square root of m squared plus 1 by root 5 now because this is a product, when we square these, we'll just end up multiplying what's inside the square roots. And if we square the left-hand side, we're going to get minus 5m by minus 5m. So I'll just write down square both sides. You could write it out with squares, but you can just square both sides straight away. So it's going to be 25m squared because a minus by a minus is a plus. Minus 5m by 5 is minus 25m twice. Minus 50m plus 25 is equal to, we square this, we're going to get 5 times m squared plus 1, which is 5m squared plus 5. Bringing that across, we're going to get 20m squared minus 50m plus 20 equals naught. Divide by 10 to get 2m squared minus 5m plus 2 is equal to naught. So they both have to be minuses here, 2m by m. And 2 by 1, that's going to give me a 4 and a 1, both minuses. So my values for m, m is equal to 1 over 2 or minus 2. Now, they didn't ask for m, they asked for the equations of the two lines. So we have to sub this in to get the equations of the two lines. So just jump back up to our equation of a line. 
which was this guy here, I know I've manipulated it, mx minus y minus 3m plus 2. So fill in, I'll do m is equal to a half first. I'm going to get a half x, and I'm going to multiply by 2 to get rid of that, minus y minus 3 times a half plus 2 equals not. So I'm going to get x over 2 minus y minus 3 times a half, so that's minus 1 and a half plus 2 is plus a half equals not. So multiplying by 2, we're going to get x minus 2y plus 1 is equal to not. And my other value for m is minus 2, so if I put m is equal to minus 2 in here on the other side, we're going to get mx, so minus 2x minus y minus 3 by minus 2 plus 2 is equal to not. Just filling it into this guy again. So we're going to get minus 2x minus y plus 6 plus 2 is equal to not. Now we'd normally say we start with a positive x, so I bring everything to the right hand side or just change all the signs. We're going to get 2x. And I've just noticed this is not a minus, it's a plus 2. So we're going to get 2x plus y minus 6 plus 2 is equal to not. So that's a plus. So I'm going to get 2x. Just always double check your answer. 2x minus y minus 4 is equal to not. So that's this lesson in perpendicular distance. Quite a trick, tricky questions can't come up, so we're practicing a lot of these uh, for leaving cert higher level maths.